Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome to the Hydrocraft installation tutorial. I've had some uh, comments on past videos to uh, show you guys how to get this mod installed on your Project Zomboid game. Uh, it's fairly simple. I've been using this mod for a couple months now, ever since Hydromancer X, uh, the developer of the mod, reached out to the channel to see if we'd like to give it a shot. Uh, we've been using it ever since, going back to uh, just over halfway through Season 2. So we've had a little bit of a experience and uh, seen a lot of changes along the way. So I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown on how, get, how to get this installed. Uh, first off, I've got a video of mine opened here. Uh, and on all my uh, Project Zomboid videos, uh, if you look down in the description, I've got a link to the uh, Hydrocraft download. So that'll take you to here. You can go to the uh, forums from here as well. Uh, so if you have any questions, always a good idea to check out the forums. Well, let's just go back to the uh, download link. Just hit that old download. Once it's finished, open it up. And I just extract it directly into uh, the mods folder in the Zomboid uh, folder. Uh, so the pathway to that, it's in your users, whatever your username is. Zomboid, mods, extract that. It only takes a second, and then it'll open up this for you here. So you've got uh, your Zomboid Mods Hydrocraft version 2.6b. That's what this one is. And it's got a Hydrocraft folder there. All you do is open up that, and what I do is I just copy or cut these items, paste them back into the kind of the root folder, the Hydrocraft version 2.6b. We'll just paste them there, get rid of this extra folder. Don't need that. Yep, delete that. And close that. So that's all ready. We can pop over here to this Explorer window. And uh, if you open up the Zomboid folder, Mods, there you go. There's the Hydrocraft version 2.6b folder. Open it up, there's all the mod files. So once you got that done, all you want to do it now is go into your Steam library, open up your Project Zomboid game. Once your game has loaded up, all you need to do now is go down to the bottom left to your mods tab down here. Click on that. All your mods that you've had uh, installed will open up here. And here you can see the Hydrocraft mod right there. So all you have to do to enable it, right now it's enabled, it's got the check mark. Double click turns it off, double click turns it back on. One thing you'll need to watch out for, if you don't move the, or, uh, the files in that step where I move the files out of the Hydrocraft folder into the, uh, the lower folder, the, just the Hydrocraft version, uh, whatever version you're running. In my case it was 2.6b. I move those files into that, that folder out of the Hydrocraft folder that was inside. If you don't do that, I don't think the mod window here will recognize the Hydrocraft mod uh, as an option to select. Uh, so you probably won't see it there unless you move those files over. At least that's what I found in my experience. So once you have it turned on, hit done. You're good to go now to start up a new sandbox game. Load up your old game. If you're loading up an old game, you will need to search a brand new area of your map, uh, whatever map you're on, in order to find the new Hydrocraft items and to start uh, using the mod proper. Uh, if you've searched the entire map, your best bet uh, is going to be to start a brand new game. Uh, the mod uh, will only populate items into the spawn tables uh, if cells have not been loaded in the game. So that's very important. If you are using a uh, old save file, make sure you go to a brand new area. Otherwise, just start up a new sandbox or a new survival or a new challenge. Works in all the modes. Uh, so you should be good to go, guys. Hopefully that helps out. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment below or head over to the Hydrocraft forums. Leave them a comment. Read through the forums. There's lots of uh, good tips there. And you should be able to find uh, whatever you guys need. But hopefully this helps you guys uh, set up the Hydrocraft mod into your Project Zomboid games. That'll do it for today. Leave me a comment below. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.